Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is NigmaCraft86 coming back at you on Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode, Episode 16. So, today we are actually going to be looking into Astral Sorcery. Um, it's a very cool mod, um, very dependent on night, which is going to be interesting with how many mobs we have around here. But there's a few cool things we could do with it, like uh, possibly a tree farm. I wonder. If you're wondering how, well, we're going to get to that. And probably not today, but soon. So, first we're going to need to actually make a crafting table real quick. And... I know there is a... I just want a regular crafting table. There we go. Um, I know there is a... Area over that... I can't remember. I saw one. It wasn't too far away. Let's see. Astral Sorcery. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to go searching for an Astral Sorcery temple in a little bit. Uh, Yeah. So let me go ahead and head out there, and I will be right back. Well, I remember there was one over by my old base, but also... One other thing I was wanting to do real quick is take care of that dragon downstairs. Because this is actually where my miner is. So it's going to be a little bit interesting. Uh, do I have plenty of food? I kind of do. There's my nether portal still. That's how I've been having to come all the way over here to the nether portal. But... Let's go ahead and take care of this dragon. And then we can go ahead and go after that uh, temple. Should be right around here somewhere. I think it's going to be right back over here. Oh yeah, there it is. You can see where my miner has been. Yeah. Ooh, I do not want to... I want to kind of come over here. Am I going to be able to... get down here? And attack it? Or are you glitching the wall? Come on, keep moving down. There we go. This is kind of cheaty. Is it already dead? No, it is not. All right, it's gone. That was like an easy win. Let's go ahead and loot this. Uh, oh, hey, we got another dragon egg. Got a few dragon eggs here. What's up with that? Oh, uh, where's my backpack? We can have a whole army of dragons now. We are seriously, like, having way too much of this stuff. Alright. I wonder what all did we get. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. And put their gun in our offhand. Probably just going to need to tower up. That would probably be the easiest thing to do. Whoops. Why will it not let me... There we go.
So let's see what all we got in here. Empower. Oh, hey, we needed that. Hi, Creeper. Some golden nuggets. Some stuff I probably don't need. Hey, Creeper, here's another one. That's a great thing about this thing. It just basically you can one-shot. Aurora. Ooh, I could use that. We're going to put you in there. We're just finding all types of loots in here. Book. All right, let's, let me clear out this area, and I will be back in just a minute. Now, real quick side note. The Band of Aurora actually gives you mana. So if I put this in one of these other bubble slots, this should start building up mana. I'm just trying to get all these chests before I leave. Because, yeah, you can never have too many of these chests, apparently. Uh, can I put anything else away? Don't really need it. Okay, that's all those. And that's it. That should be all the chests. So it should be good on there. There's diamonds. But I'm not too interested in those right now. Yeah, I know it's kind of strange for me to say that, but... Let's see. Do I have anything? FYI, I need to make an ender bag. Or bag of ender. Alright, everybody. We made it to the astrals thing. I'm just going to have to fight a few things. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where the last one was. That guy just spawned right in front of us. And basically, we're just going to climb our way up. Should be pretty easy. And once we actually get into here, we should be good. See, where did my pickaxe go? There it is. And this is what you have to go look for. Now, there should be a... Oh, what do you call it? A chest around here somewhere. On one of these sides. Unless I already was here. It does not look like... Yeah, I was. I was already here. So, place it down, and you can see the light going into it. So, now, all we need to make a table from, uh, oh, where is it at? Right here. Luminous traffic table could be... See, astral tome for a recipe. Okay. So, do we have an astral tome? No, we do not. Probably have one at back at the base. Let me head over there and I'll go get it. Yep, it was right here the whole time. Okay, Astral Sorcery. Let's get that off. Let's get rid of some of this stuff while we're here. Oops, that was not meant to go there. And let's sleep through the night. Make it easier. All right, everybody. Made it back. Dropped off a few extra things. Now, the way we look this up, it's actually... Kind of interesting. I like the way they did this. But basically, it'll start out like this, and we'll have to zoom in. Which you can use your middle mouse scroll button to do that. And it gives a little bit of description of how it, what it is, what it does. And the recipe. It's just basically any marble around a crafting table and some sooty marble. Sooty marble is pretty easy to make, and I think it's a great block. And it's just basically like that. I mean, look at this. So, basically, it's just like this. And there we go. We got our first astral t table. Now, something else we're going to have to look into. We might as well do it while we're here. Uh, we need to go back into Discovery. 
is a resonating wand. So it takes two pieces of cobblestone, an ender pearl, and aquamarine. Now, I don't think I actually have any ender pearls on me. So we might have to do this over at our base. There should be enough uh, star power. I guess that's what they call it. Uh, at night, and it should work. All right. Let's go ahead and head over there, and we're going to have to wait for night. So be back in a minute. All right, everybody. I just went ahead and set this up right here. And, yeah, it's going to be a while. So I thought I'd work on something else as well. Now... I'm tired of this. This system right here. This is getting on my nerves. So one thing I was going to make real quick. See if I can. Is a. Uh, applied energistic controller. Now there's a few things. We might not have. Okay. Um, Sky stone. I know I have tons of sky stone. Yes, I just have to cook this up. So that should just take a second over here in the basic smeltery. There we go. So that's the first thing we don't have. We need one of these. Which I know we don't have one of these. So that is... Do we have what it takes to make that? Green dye. We should actually have some green dye in here. And iron. Do we have any iron? Let's go ahead and crush up a few of these. There we go. Replace you. Okay. That is first step in this one right here. We need copper plate and vacuum tubes. Do I have any vacuum? Ooh, I do have vacuum tubes. I had vacuum tubes. All right. Let me go ahead and make a lot of this off camera. And while I'm waiting on night. All right, it looks like I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit because I ran into a situation. Um, working on this part right here, I have to make bioplastic. It takes a manufacturer, so we'll work on that probably in the next episode. I kind of want to get the luminous t crafting table. You can see we actually have star power here. So if we look up resonating wand, it's... Wait, what? Wait, it's Salus Mundus. Oh, so I kind of hit another roadblock. Okay. So, what all is this used for? Um, pretty much everything. Great. So, basically, this goes into another thing where we're going to have to have at least... Uh, let's clear out our inventory real quick. I think I have a crate in here. Which brings me back to the point where I'm going to have to wait another night. Let's go ahead and clear this stuff out. Because I'm going to need to get a few more crystals. Got the Ordo. I think it's just a few of the extra ones. See, that's almost all of them. Aquas. So it looks like instead of starting on... Oh, Astral Sorcery, we're going to have to start on... Uh, oh, Thomcraft. See, I think that's all of them. Let's go ahead and let us sleep through the night, and it didn't do anything. 
So which one of these crystals am I missing? Oh, there's quite a few of them. Okay, got the air, got fire, got water, got earth. That should be all of them. So let's look in their actual questing book that might give us a little bit of more of an explanation behind it. And we might as well claim this while we're here. So these are kind of in order. So we're gonna just going to have to go through that. Uh, Thaumonomicon. I think I actually have a... Ooh, I do not have a Thaumonomicon. Alright, so let's see, read what the quest says. Welcome to Thaumcraft, a tier 1 magic mod, Thaumcraft, yada yada. You have to progress through Thaum Thaumonomicon to be able to progress th in Thaumcraft. Although these quests provide some guidance, you will need to following the Thaumicon, Thaumonomicon. To obtain the Thaumicon, you need to pick any of the V crystals up, sleep through night, and lastly, click on a bookshelf with Salus Mundus. All right, so let's go ahead and make a bookshelf. That should be pretty easy. All right, we got a bookshelf. That was part of the quest. No, uh, it wasn't there. So, Salus Mundus. That is what we need to look. Salus Mundus, and all it's saying is it's a common loot crate. But if I remember correctly, what I need is a piece of flint, a bowl, which I think I have some in here. No. Do I have bowls in here? I should have bowls in here because I was, uh... Yeah, you know I'm just going to make another bowl. And three of any crystal, which we're going to go and do these over here. So let's just take the ones we have the most of. This one. This one. This one. A bowl, and I believe I need redstone. Yeah, I need to remember where this is at. Okay. And redstone. Salismundus. So that should unlock the recipe for us. Now we have that. Let's put our bookshelf down. Grab our Salismundus. Watch the sparkling. The sparkling. And there we go. Thomcraft. So we got into the first steps. So, this is just going to basically run us through here. There is a nutshell. So, now we need to make a research table and scribing tool. Which, I'm going to need some more of that Salus Mundus. So, I'll be right back. Because it used up a lot of what we had. So, except for the flint. So, I'm going to make up about 16 pieces. To make a wood table, we're going to need some planks of treated wood, which I think I should have some still left in here somewhere. I thought I had treated wood in here. Okay. Oh, why did it do that? Um, okay. Just need one set of that. And there we go. I say, can I make two of them real quick? Now, the way this works is pretty simple. We're going to have to build a different area for it. But I believe we just... Now, these are just single ones. Okay, we got the table. These are actually kind of cool looking tables, by the way. And now we're going to need a... Scribing tool. Which is a bottle feather die. Alright, I think I should have a bottle around here somewhere. 
If not, I can make one real quick. Bottle. Feather. Should have plenty of feathers because I haven't really been using them. And wither ash. Should have some black dye in here. So that should be a very simple craft. Let's put this here. And the only thing we're else we're gonna need is some paper. Which I think we should have plenty right here. Should be another quest complete. I believe. Research table. Alright, I think this goes here. And there we go. So I think I should be able to break this and pick it up now. Service cords. Uh, where'd I put my? There it is. That works. That work? Ding ding. Yes, that did. Kind of weird. I had to put that down like that. All right, I don't know why it's not wanting to work now, but okay. There we go. Oh, I could probably just put it in there. All right, 16 paper. So, let's go ahead and pick this one back up. I just like how those tables look. Um, anyways, so that gives us those two quests. And they want us to do a few other things in the quest line real quick. Uh, silverwood. We can get silverwood. Thaumonomicon. All right. So... I think I actually have silver wood in here. Silver lime. Okay, so we haven't found any silver wood. I might have to look at for those in between episodes. But let's go ahead and make a uh thaumonomicon or thauma thaumometer. So all we're gonna need is some some glass panes. It should be pretty straightforward. And we're going to need four pieces of gold. I'm already going to make two of, or three of them. Because I know I'm going to want three throughout the whole thing. And we're going to want another crafting table right here. I think I have one of these. I wonder if I can convert you back into a Nope. I don't want, I don't want that. I kind of want the old style uh, of crafting table, just just for nostalgia. Plus, it works better over here. And actually, I think if I right click you, oh yeah, there we go. There we go, and that is our. A uh, crafting table for us. So in this chunk, we have 134 V, which isn't too bad. Which isn't too bad. So we're going to need to basically put our crystals in here. And it should work. Why can't I not see you? I probably have not unlocked it yet. That's an interesting thing about this. So we have to hit complete on there. Thaumometer, inventory scanner. Okay. Right click for recipes. I guess I should have had this in my inventory. Or okay, I think this one says I'm done. If not, I can make another one. So I don't think I actually was supposed to do that yet. But hey, what will hurt to have another one of those? That's going to be kind of weird because I have to kind of progress through both sides. Okay. So one thing of fundamental and observation. Okay. So this should be visible now. There we go. And we can scan things throughout the world. 
There we go. I, I can... Can scan. Wow, that is loud. And it gives us uh, information on things. And infor or, uh, theory points. I believe that's what they're called. And some of these will have like a ton of things. So that's something I'm probably going to be doing a lot in between episodes is scanning. Plus this also has a where I can scan in my inventory. So that's actually kind of cool. This is a lot different than what it used to be whenever uh, Thomcraft first came out. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's see, where are we at on here? Okay, we completed that. So basically, I'm going to probably be running through most of these things. Okay, so now we need to make a cauldron real quick. And I believe cauldron is pretty... Pretty simple. This should be just iron plates, yeah. Craft one. And, yeah, I'm probably going to end up setting up a whole area for this stuff. And, once again, there we go. Now, I think I'm going to have to pick both these up. Where's my pickaxe? Oh, I just keep losing things today. No, like, seriously, where's my pickaxe? I am completely blind. All right. Go ahead and pick this up. Ding, ding. Anything? There we go. Now, I actually need a fire source underneath it, but like I said, we'll probably work on that in between episodes. And actually, I might be able to... Do I have... I don't have the... Dang it. It's shut on me. Let's go ahead and grab this astral stuff. And do I have any aquamarines? I do. All right. Let's go ahead and make a resonating wand. So we can kind of figure out where we're going to be placing this stuff. Kind of work on two magic mods at the same time. Resonating wand. So, like so. Yeah, it's just any marble and some salismondus. Isn't that right? Oh, that's a just regular crafting table. Well, I have one right here, so that works perfectly fine with me. And this, the way it works, um, if you find a Gary of good... Uh, actually, those little white particles are actually um what are they called rock crystal ores so we're gonna have to look around between things and there should be like a darker area huh got one right there and i don't have my uh gun on me we're going back inside. So, let me come back in a minute. We're going to be working a little bit more with Thomcraft. And, yeah, that, we'll go from there. <laughs> 